and I'm back. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for watching. Today I wanted to give you guys my review on the Nikki's trainers, both the overnight one and the daytime one. Since I showed you guys these in previous videos and I told you that I would review them for you after I had a chance to thoroughly try them on my children. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first one I want to show you guys is the Nikki's daytime trainer, which looks like this. And this is the inside. That's what the inside looks like. It's just all, you know, sewn in there. And I will start by telling you the pros of this. The price on these is between 10 and 11 pounds. It depends on the print you get and I believe the size. So the pros to this, in my personal opinion, is it gets a really good fit on my son. It honestly is really trim. It's not super bulky. He can wear this underneath his clothes and you can't really tell that he's wearing a cloth trainer. They have, to my surprise, even though they are microfiber sewn into them, they do have good absorbency and the dry time is really, really good. It does not take a whole lot of time to dry these. I really only have two cons to this trainer. So the cons to this trainer, to me, is that it it doesn't have side snaps, so then if my son has a poop accident, I have to try to pull it down and hope that it doesn't get anywhere. So that to me is a con that, I mean, it, it pulls up and down like a pull-up, so that's great because it, you know, makes them feel like a big kid and like they're in regular underwear. But I just kind of wish that it had side snaps. The other thing is the sizing. So while this size does fit my son, when I went off the size chart and I got an extra large for my son because at the time he was 35 pounds and their extra large is 34 to 45 pounds, I thought I was buying the right size. But for my child, the extra large was too big so I ended up having to order the large instead which fits him way better. Another con to me is you can't see it too much. Yeah, you can't see it too much on this one. So the tag on this one looks okay. But this one, which has only been washed, you know, like the typical amount of times. I think it's been washed like maybe six or seven times. Like you can barely read the tag anymore. So after a while, you won't be able to read the tags. So that to me is kind of a con as well is that the tags fade like rather quickly. So let's move on to the overnight Nikki's trainer. And the first, I'll give you the pros to this one first. And that is that I like the way it fits. It has a good fit. It's not super bulky for a nighttime diaper. I do like how absorbent it is. I love that it has, you know, side snaps. I love that it has side snaps on both sides of the diaper, as you see. I love that. I love that it has this pocket to add absorbency if needed. And it does actually come with a tri-folding bamboo insert to go in here. I've actually never had to use it because they are absorbent enough with just the microfiber that's here and the bamboo insert that's sewn in here. We really haven't needed to use the other insert that it came with, so that's pretty awesome. The con to this trainer, in my opinion, is I have to run this through the dryer twice just to get it to dry, and normally it is like up in here in the pocket part, like up in there, that takes the longest, that takes the longest time to dry. So that to me is like a huge con because it's like all the other trainers will be dry, but this one is not. So I have to run these back through another time. And then the other con to these ones that I've personally found, and it's just a cosmetic thing, it's not, um, it's not a functionality con. It is that the microfiber, I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, um, but it looks rather dingy after just one wash and I think it is because the black on this side bleeds through and gets on this side and it makes it look super just super dingy and super worn after just one wash. Um, their nighttime trainers have the same size chart as their daytime trainers so the small is 16 to 21 pounds, the medium is 20 to 30 pounds, the large is 30 to 38 pounds and the extra large is 34 to 45 pounds. And these ones run between $14 and $15. You can sometimes get them at a discount 
or you can also find them on the Nikki's website and their like Clarence album sometimes which is super awesome because I got one once for like $11 off their site. Those are my thoughts on the Nikki's daytime and nighttime trainers. Honestly I would repurchase both of these because to me the cons don't really outweigh the pros to them so I highly recommend these if you are looking for affordable trainers that work. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell before you go so you don't miss the next time I upload a video. Bye guys!